Welcome to our webinar today. Um, today we are talking about Sishen Menzur. He is our guest speaker today. And um, we are going to be talking about what brought me 38 interviews in three months. So I am very excited to have all of you here today. And um, just as Sishen is just um, logging in right now, um, I just wanted just to welcome everybody and just thank you so much just for taking that time to come to our webinar today. And we're very excited to have you. So without further ado, I do want to welcome our guest speaker today, Sishen. Hi, Sishen. Hello, how are you? Very good. So we have a great group today. And um, let's get started. So I am going to let you allow yourself to introduce yourself, and I will do the slides. Excellent. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, or, or good evening at some places. My name is Zishan. Uh, I'm a learning and development professional. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining this uh, webinar today. Uh, you may have attended so many uh, webinars and conversations in the past where, where people say uh, I have 10 years of experience or I migrated to Canada 20 years ago or 25 years ago things were different uh, so good news for you is uh, you don't need to worry about it my experience in Canada is not 20 years ago uh, it's it's fresh it's very recent uh, it's been less than two years I I was doing my job search market hasn't changed uh, a lot since then so what we are going to talk about today is recent, is fresh, and is definitely applicable in, in most cases. We, we have a presentation uh, today, and the purpose of this presentation is I'm, I'm not, so, so here is the uh, thing. I'm not asking you to do exactly what I did. Uh, however, the idea today is to, to share with you what I did that made me successful in my in, in getting a job that I wanted. So when I landed two years ago, uh, I was I was working very hard to find a job, applying to so many jobs, and and no response. So so what what I did differently that worked for me, and and I, I gave 38 interviews. Of course, I landed one job out of it, but but I was in the situation where I had to choose. Uh, between offer letters and as the uh, recruiter that I cannot uh, appear in the interview this week, can we reschedule it after 10 days or after two weeks because back to back, uh, back, to back interviews. So uh, I did something and, and that worked for me. I, I help a lot of people uh, share, I, I share my strategies with a lot of people and if they do follow it, they, chances are they, they celebrate. They, they, they come back, they tell Zishan, thank you, uh, it, it worked for me. But, but before we begin talking about the uh, slides, the content that I have today, I would like to tell you this thing. This is, this is, about, the, this is about the dose of antibiotic. Like, like if, if we are sick, we go to doctor and doctor gives us dose for five days or, or six days. And we start taking those medications. After three days, we, we feel good healthy all all energies back and we say listen now now I I may not I may not want to continue the these medication because I already feel good so sometimes we we, we stop taking those medication I'm, I'm not being judgmental I'm just sharing uh, what, what, what I've seen so because I feel comfortable I'm good I stop taking those medication and 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 that's it but what happens it it is still somewhere in it. It's, I'm not completely good. Because it's just that I feel better, but it doesn't mean that treatment is complete. So the purpose of sharing this is to, 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 to let you know that it's, it's like a dose of antibiotic. It's not what you prefer, pick it, what something that you don't prefer, you don't pick it. And then you say that uh, I'm working very hard, uh, I don't get job interviews. Uh, and, and the reason is it's it's like antibiotic. You you have to take all of them together, or don't do it. Like it's not three of five or four of five. If it is five of five, chances are you'll be successful. We'll go to our slide. I'll I'll take you through the wonderful content that we have today. Pay attention. Uh, if you have any question, uh, write your questions. In the end, 
we, we will have question answer session if, if there is something that you want to ask. So this is our first slide that you see. Uh, it's so don't don't worry about this slide. It's it's just uh, giving a message of curiosity. What, what's in it? Uh, so many surprises. Uh, but but I'm, I'm not going to play any animation. You you don't worry about it. Uh, in the next slide that that you see here, this is what we will talk about. Uh, what happens? We search a lot of jobs. We we it's it's hard to get interview calls in in Canada. Uh, it's not that there are no jobs. It's like you, you, you have to follow a certain pattern, a format, in order to get there. So, so those who successfully make it their way there, uh, chances are if they are not well prepared, they don't do exactly what is expected, mm -mm -mm. chances are they may not hear back from the recruiters. So what happens here is it's a format. Be resume writing, be appearing in an interview, be uh, you, you're on a job, be at work. It's it's a format. You it's a checklist. If you follow that checklist, chances are success is is you're very close to success. Uh, in the next slide, you see uh, next slide, please. Oh, th this is me. Uh, of course, I I, I love myself. Uh, 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 bef I was learning and development head uh, in, in one of the uh, healthcare organization in Middle East and North Africa. Uh, it, it was a big organization uh, having hospitals in three countries. I, I really loved my job, uh, but, but in the next slide you see what happened to me. I, I worked in this company for, for a couple of years and then this is this is I used to do. Uh, travel was the best part of, of my career at the healthcare company. Next slide. <clears throat> and then this happened. I, I, I moved to Canada. So my, my previous job was good coming from a senior position or middle, middle senior position. Uh, I, I enjoyed all senior management benefits, fun, travel time. It, it, was, it was an ideal job. So. But, but of course, we, we loved Canada, we wanted to move to Canada. Uh, we moved to Canada and, and what happened here is, uh, of course, uh, no job. So in the beginning, it was all fun. Next slide, please. In the beginning, it was all fun. So th th this is the fun part of, of Canada. Uh, I, I enjoyed going to Niagara Falls, a uh, couple of other places where it was all, all fun. Uh, in the beginning, it was all good. It was September, October when we landed. So it was fun in the beginning, going to these places, watching colors, beauty all around. I made some good friends out there. Uh, in the beginning, definitely you, you need a very good uh, support system. Uh, if, if you don't have a good support system, chances are, uh, without being judgmental, it's, it's really tough to survive. Uh, especially uh, winter is different, right? I'm not saying winter is bad, winter is good. I, I love winter, I love snow, but, but it's, it's just different. So you definitely need a, a support system. You need to make good, uh, positive friends. So this is what I did. I made sure that uh, I have uh, positive friends all the time with, around me. This is, this is something very interesting. Anyone who lives in Canada, chances are, uh, they they definitely need to do this forced exercise. I did that. It, it was wonderful. I loved it in the beginning, but it's it's good. It's cool. But if it is once a week or once every ten days, I, I prefer to do it. But if it is every now and then, I'm not sure if if I really want to do that. This was my HR connections program time uh, in in somewhere in November uh, in 2014. Imagine what happened. Uh, you, I took the HR connections program from Excess Employment. They, they have they have so many programs: sales and marketing connections, engineer connections. Because I'm human resource professional, I took HR connections program. And this this picture I took uh, one day after I was going back from HR connections program to my home, and and this this was all white. It gives different uh, feeling. It it's like. Things started changing at this point because fun time was over, Niagara Falls was over, CN Tower was, was beautiful, 
everything was fun and then there was this thing this this is reality check when I said Zishan hold on now this is the time when you need to sit back relax and you need to find a job because you you have spent quite a money uh, now now fun is over go find a job so like like anyone like everybody uh, I, I had my resume it had it had a picture on it it was it was colorful uh, it had yellow color it had red color on it it had different colors uh, very creatively designed resume or so I started applying to, to, to several jobs all the time and and it, it didn't work for me because uh, you you may have heard that one size uh, doesn't fit all so I I remember applying about eight to ten jobs a day and nothing worked for me so somebody told me that Zishan maybe you need to change websites so initially I was I was using a couple of websites then I changed some more websites but but no response what I did I started going to library in the morning and I, I had set my target for for 15 to 20 resumes a day and and you know the the, the result was was nil nothing worked for me and then I took a step back I thought what what is not working in in my case so I, I, I started applying a, a formula that says equals equals to equals and you will see this in, in in the next slide this was this was the thought I gave to my job search strategy and things started changing from this point onwards so ladies and gentlemen on this call today this is the heart of our conversation uh, this point onwards my my response was was different the way I was approaching to job was different this is the formula that I used uh, I, I developed it, uh, read it, understand it, and do it. So this is, speaks to the job posting. So resume comes in the end. In in my philosophy, in in my practice, that worked for me. So read it, understand it, and do it. So I so if you go to next slide, you'll see. Read it as you just go to to any website. The website that I used uh, was was Indeed.com. Uh, I I only used Indeed.com. It's like for me, it's it's Google of job. Uh, I'm not associated with Indeed, anyways. I'm not marketing Indeed. Uh, it's it's just what worked for me. It's what just I believed in it. So uh, read it is is you just read it. Read your job posting. The way I did is I read job posting once, twice, three times, four times, five times. That's that's the reading, and it takes a lot of time. So reading is simple. I won't spend a lot of time talking about reading. This is understand it. So in the next slide, you will see how I understand the job posting. Now this is this is the heart of uh, our conversation. Now this, this is understanding the job posting. On your left, this uh, black and red text is the job posting. On your right is the table that shows me the keyword used in the job posting. So why do we need to use keyword? I'll, I'll speak to it in a, in, in a moment. But let's talk about this. What I've done in the primary purpose, so, so on your left, the text that you see, it says the position is responsible for designing, developing, and maintaining e-learning and blended learning and development programs and products. So for me, I highlighted the text that I think they are keyword. So design is the keyword, develop is the keyword, maintaining e-learning, blended L&D programs. These are the keywords. What I did, I I highlighted keywords, changed these keywords, transferred these keywords into a table. Now this table says word design for. So four is it means word design was used in res, uh, in the job posting four times. If you see develop, this was used six times. If you see administrator or administration, it was used three times. The next column is resume. So now this is the time when I will pick my resume and compare how many times I have used these keywords that appear in job posting and I have used it in my resume. 
So this was the result. Word design was used four times. I've used one time. Develop was used six times. I've used three times. Now, as compared to learning management system, I have not used it in my resume. L&D specialist, administration, web-based, e-learning. You see all these words I haven't used in my resume. So what's happening here? The employer is interested in hiring somebody who has these skills. I have my fancy resume. I have my beautiful resume. But unfortunately, that resume does not speak to what a recruiter wants, what, what an employer wants to hire. So what I did, I started using these keywords in my resume. In the next slide, I'll show you how I used it. So this is the do it part. On your left, in the table, I've highlighted this table with these colors. It means, and on the right is the sentence that I have used in my, that I used in my resume. So highlight means out of these keywords that you see on your screen, I have used those keywords in the sentence. Now, now I will read the sentence that I created, designed, developed, and administered over 70 web-based, you see web-based is there, and blended learning, you see blended learning is there in the table. Programs for learning management system. You see, learning management system is there in the table. So I used almost all keywords. Of course, I cannot use 100% keywords because then it will, it will the, the English of it, the sentence will be very funny. But, but I try to use maximum keywords. Again, the same uh, approach that I used, uh, partnered with L&D specialist. L&D specialist is the keyword in design, development, and implementation. In, in the green also you see how keywords were used. This is an incredible thing that, that definitely will work for anyone who uses it. So this is the discipline model. Once a resume is, is ready based on the keywords, now this is very important that you, you definitely need to create your resume based on the keywords if keywords are not created in the resume, uh, chances are it may not work because there is a robot that, that sits between applicant and the recruiter. What this robot does, it's a computer software called ATS, Applicant Tracking System. So many organizations are using it. Uh, if you Google it, you will see uh, some research says 90% of organization use this ATS. Some, some research says, some data says 70%, some data says 60%. So it gives us a message that a lot of organizations are using ATS, applicant tracking system. What's happening here, when you apply for a job with resume, there is a job posting that, that, that job posting is with the resume robot. So your application, your resume go to, goes to the, uh, resume robot that reads it and if your resume gets a certain score maybe 95 percent 98 percent based on the keywords used in the job posting your resume makes its way to the recruiter you'll be surprised to know uh, out of 10 resume uh, chances are two to three resumes make their way to the recruiter seven or eight resumes may not be seen by recruiters because because lack of use of keywords in it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a long journey, really a long journey. Uh, I'll show you how I, I applied to jobs after, uh, after using keywords in my resume. So, I, I repeat it all the time, key is using those keywords and finding those keywords is, is a lot of job. I, I applied so once I realized that I need to use keywords, it took me about two to three days to apply for one job. And every time I applied for a job, I knew that I'm going to get an interview call from that organization because I had put all keywords in it. I have spent good time. Don't worry about it. You don't have to do it manually. You don't have to read it everything by yourself. It's, it's not easy. Even if you think you read and highlight, it's easy. It, it is not. But there are tools that, that can help you. So on the slide you see is once resume is ready, I, I used uh, indeed.com to find the job and apply for the job. So when you search on Indeed, there is, there is, a, uh, there is a subscription in Indeed, and it's, it's free. 
So an example would be if you are a human resource professional, let's say if you are compensation and benefit analyst. So you go to indeed.com, search for comp and ben position and put a reminder on it. Every morning, Indeed will send you an email that there are 30 jobs or, or, or 25 jobs related to comp and ben. So you, your time to search a job is reduced by let's say 70, 80 or 90 percent because you're not not going online to search for jobs, Indeed.com is doing for it. So when you visit Indeed.com on bottom of that page of Indeed.com, you will see this function where you search for a job and put a reminder for yourself so that you add your email, Indeed sends you email every day. So I apply job using Indeed. Then I go to LinkedIn, find the same job uh, an example would be comp and band analyst. So I applied for comp and band analyst at Mouse Company in using Indeed. I tried to find the same job on in, uh, using Indeed, of course, and I tried to find the same job on LinkedIn. If I find that job, I will go and apply for the same job. And then I go to the company website. On, on their website, if there is a job portal, I'll go find the job and I'll apply for the same job on their website. I know this sounds a lot of work and, and you may have questions. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have on this. Google is very powerful. What I'll do next is I'll go Google and find out who is recruiting for that position. So most of the times on LinkedIn you will see that who is, who is the recruiter for that specific position. I'll Google the email address for that person and and I'll send an email to that person, uh, dear recruiter or whatever is the name. My name is Zishan and I found that your, your organization is looking for the position of comp and analyst. I'm interested to apply for this job. I have already applied online for this job. Uh, is there any possibility to have a conversation around? So I will write a message to this person. See here, notice here that we, we are still on, on, on the same job and 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 then I'll go back to to Indeed and and search the person from that organization. So what what does that mean? I use the advanced search function of Indeed.com and see who are the people working in human resources of that department of of that organization. So Indeed will tell me vice president human resources, vice president strategy, senior strategy manager talent acquisition director, senior talent manager, I will not add them because they are busy making strategy for the organization, they are busy in meetings, they may not be active on social media. I will find people who, who, who do action in terms of hiring people. So let's say talent acquisition specialist, talent coordinator. I will add them on LinkedIn and I'll be very honest with them. Uh, not, not just LinkedIn invitation that I would like to add you to my network, no, I will customize it with their name. So I'll say, dear Zishan, I would like to add you to my LinkedIn connection and I really appreciate our connection. I'm, I'm a human resource professional and I see that your organization is recruiting for a position of a comp and ben analyst and I would like to apply for that job. I have already applied online. I wanted to ask you if, if, you, if you can please connect me with someone who is recruiting for this position or who's taking care of this position. And I'll, I'll send this message to five and six people in that organization. In Canada, usually people are very good only if you show your true intention. This is, this is my observation, not, not, not a judgment. So I, I, I shared my intention up front that this is the reason I'm connecting with you. So my response rate was about 70%. If, if I show my intention, if I just add people, there is no point having 700 HR professionals in your LinkedIn connection if they don't know you but you know them so th there is no point in it so I established connection a genuine connection uh, I will do more research uh, around indeed.com to see who else can connect me to that person so we have so many connections in indeed and in it is a very uh, sorry LinkedIn is a very very powerful tool and you have so many connections there the, the biggest problem that I have seen uh, with, with many people is they, they have 700 connections but they, they hardly know 50 of them or, or, or 100 of them just. So if, if there is a mutual connection that that person can introduce them to the person who is recruiting for the job, 
they cannot ask for it because they, they don't know any one of them. So my, my idea is if, if you have so many people uh, already added on your LinkedIn, spend your time on weekend, write them an email, a, a nice email, introduce yourself, tell them the purpose of this connection and start building that connection. So if you send message to 20 of them and, and five of them reply you, it means you have successfully established relationship with five people. And, and, and we are still on the same job. Now what I do, I'll go to Microsoft Excel sheet, any spreadsheet, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep a record of it that this was the job, this was the job posting, this was the position title. Uh, I used Indeed to apply, I used LinkedIn to apply, date I applied, date of closing for that position. Why do I do that? Because when you are doing a job search, you may have heard that job search is a full-time job. So you apply to so many jobs and then if you get a get an interview call that uh, I'm calling from company X and we have a position for comp and ben specialist and we would like to interview you for that position. Now you don't know what that position was for. Uh, of course you know the title but what was the keyword? What, what's the actual work? Because in interview you need to use those uh, words so you don't have that resume. So I keep I kept a record of, of all jobs that I applied. So basically what we talked about is I used so I found a job, I used indeed to apply for that apply to that job. I used LinkedIn to apply to that job. I added the recruiter on LinkedIn and communicated with that person. I I tried to reach out to other people working in that organization and connected with them, asking about who's recruiting for that position. And if somebody responds, if somebody sends me a response and say, John is looking for that position, so I will go search for John and, and write email to John. Hi, John. My name is Zishan, your colleague. Uh, Samantha told me that you're looking for this position. I contacted her a while ago. And, and then here is the message. So. So there is a social social connection that Samantha, oh, okay, he will open the email, he will, John will read the email. And then I will search for the email address of, of recruiter using Google or Indeed or LinkedIn. I'll reach out to that person and then I'll record this activity in Microsoft Excel in order to make sure that I, I know what I'm doing and I have everything when I need it. So, so engineering begins here uh, in this uh, in this section we'll talk about tools that we we definitely need to use this is the antibiotic course that 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 definitely works uh, that that worked for me i know so many people so many people who are using these uh, tools and it, it it works for all of them the reason i put this important stamp here is to tell you that how important it is so so th there are a couple of websites that uh, that I used, uh, meetup.com, uh, meetup I'll show you these websites in a moment. So meetup.com is a website where you go, you make your account, you find uh, like-minded people where where you connect with them, where you go sit with them, you, you go to pub, you go to bar, you go to coffee shops, you go to shopping malls, you go for a walk, and, and you establish connection. Who, who, who are part of meetup groups? There are people from startups to senior management to vice presidents, decision makers, investors. They are part of these groups and everybody is, is open to social networking because this is a social networking tool. Anyone who's, who's part of meetup group is, is there because that person wants to meet new people and, and work on relationships. So if you are there, of course, people are willing to Exchange ideas, information, help each other. This is this is how Meetup uh, looks like. Uh, there are so many groups. Uh, I'll show you the the demonstration. This is a uh, professional immigrants network. Uh, if you go to networksforimmigrants.ca, you will you will see this uh, website. Yeah, in this slide you see you you can select professional networking groups. So. An example would be I, I would go and I would select Asia and then I'll select my profession as as human resources. And if I do that, it will show me groups from Asia living in Canada and they are 
in, in, and they are in profession of human resources. So, <clears throat> so now I have access to these people who speak same language, and who speak same language, who, who are coming from more or less same background, who who, have, who share with me similar expertise, skills, education, profession. There, there, there are so many criteria that you can select. So this is this is really an interesting tool that that helped for me. This is this is my favorite. This this works as as a magic, and 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 the reason this is my favorite favorite is it it is really helpful because because it tells you the keywords from job posting keywords that as a person I cannot find but machine understand those keywords and how machine understands I'll tell you in in, in next slide. Uh, this is I copied this from their website compare my resume dot co it says unknown to job seekers 70 percent of resumes are not even seen by most employers imagine 90 percent of large companies use applicant tracking system so what's applicant tracking system you'll see in the next slide my definition of applicant tracking system is is like a robot so what happens there are 800 applications what resume robot does it picks only a couple of applications and send it to recruiter because those applications meet the criteria and has keywords in it how it works you you make your account uh, you paste your resume you paste your job posting and then you get the result so this is the website uh, of pin professional uh, immigrants network it's it's free uh, you need to make your account uh, there are so many events here what I used to do is if, if you go to view all upcoming events you see a list of all events happening around you so introduction to email marketing you don't go of course if it's not related to you but but if something an example would be uh, writing for killer web content if, if you are a web designer or, or you write articles this is a good place for you not only to to go and learn of course go and learn is your objective but at the same time you will go meet like-minded people isn't it a great idea to meet other authors isn't it a great idea to meet other people who write web content isn't it a great idea when you meet them ask them questions how did you get a job in this profession this will work definitely but everything comes with a price of course there are so many free sessions there are a few sessions where you have to pay some dollars I, I was never afraid to pay dollars because it's not because I I am a rich person no I'm a struggler uh, but but I was the reason I wasn't afraid is it's it's better to invest a couple of dollars in these activities instead of sitting at home and and and, and not making any money out of it Another website we talked about is uh, meetup.com. This this is my one of my favorite social networks. This is how I established my my strong connection in the community. There are so many groups. If if you go make your account, search for a group. Let's say an example, engineers. If I go and search engineers, and and this is Toronto, you you edit Ontario or you say Vancouver, Alberta, uh, anywhere in Canada. And it shows me a group, so many groups out here, Toronto Data Engineering, Toronto Search Engine, oh, that's not me, Computer Engineer Teacher, oh, okay, this is maybe. So I go, add, join this group, Professional Testing and Performance Engineering, I see whatever group suits me, what is related to me, speaks to my profession, Explore Tech Toronto, and it says, you see 1,000 members. So these 1,000 people here, they are interested in social networking if you join them they are there to help you isn't it amazing tool people know it what's different people don't use it the this slide that you see is is a compare my resume dot co now this website is 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 my favorite website this so I, I'll take you back to meetup again so there are a few free groups there are a few groups where you have to pay so pay means ten dollars I attended few group meetings I paid ten dollars for one meeting and out of that ten dollars I, I had my lunch or dinner or, or my coffee 
and I get to meet so many people, so which is fine. I I don't want you to spend money, but I encourage you to, to see if it is worth it, go spend the money. This is comparemyresume.co. Uh, this, this website is, so I told you how it works. Uh, I'll show you a sample report of it. So when you create your account, uh, you put your resume, you, you copy your job posting from, from Indeed or LinkedIn, wherever, you paste it. You, you copy your resume from one Word document, you paste it, and it gives you the result. You see here, your resume match score is 53%. Why do you think that the resume robot will pick your resume? Because this is 53%. You see that your resume is best of the best, but, but in, in eyes of resume robot, it's, it's just 53%. So of course, it's not making its way. Here are the visual summary of it. It's, it's, it tells you about analytical skills. It tells you about communication. What is skills? Your resume speaks to these. So this is the visual summary of behaviors and soft skill matching found in your resume against the, against the job posting. So they required 100% of problem solving but here, resume says 58% match. Of course, resume robot is, is, is not going to pick this resume. So this tells a story here. And if you go down, it, it, it has more details, detail of behaviors and soft skill matching. Word led was appeared five times in job posting, seven times in resume, which is good. But if you go down and see this, word coordinated used but not used in resume. Word marketed used eight times, but not used in job resume. Last time I was speaking at a session, somebody asked me this question. What if, what if uh, job posting says communicate, and my resume says communicated or communicating? Is it a keyword? Yes, this software is very smart. You write it in past tense, future tense, present continuous tense. Uh, this, this system picks it. So it tells you the summary of words found in your resume against the job posting, words not found in your resume against the job posting. This is a great study that Resume Robot does and gives a report to the recruiter that you are analytical, organizational skills you have, you have technical skills and team skills. How it does, uh, I'm not sure if I, I understand it correctly, but this is this is how it works. It, it reads your resume line by line, word by word, and based on that, it gives you a score, for, and each word has a score and relates to a category, and it tells you this. And then there, this says hard skills and other keywords matching. Word experience was used nine times. What words I should use to increase my scoring? It's It's not just the comparison of what is used, what is not used. It also tells you that what words I should use in order to get the position. Now, if you notice here, word America, word Korea. Now, now these these are key words because what I will do based on this report, I'll go back to my job posting and see how they are used, word America and Korea, because they're used seven times. So maybe it will tell me that they have clients in America and Korea, and this person will have to coordinate with these clients. So in my resume, I'll go back to my resume, I'll write my resume, and I'll, I'll write something, coordinated large-scale projects with global clients, including United States of America, or including North America, and Far Eastern Asian countries, or Korea, if I have worked with clients in Korea, if not other countries. So it will pass the message to the recruiter that he has, this person has worked in, in a global capacity. There is so much more about it. Unfortunately, we don't have time to talk a lot about it, but, but I, I very much strongly recommend three things uh, for, for everyone, for all of us here to do. Uh, first thing is to go to PIN's website, make your account. Second thing is to go to meetup.com, make your account. Third thing is definitely, definitely go to uh, comparemyresume.co, make your account, start. Uh, creating your resume is based on uh, keywords, not just uh, applying, not just keep applying for jobs uh, blindly, and then we end up with with getting no jobs on it. 
this slide has my contact information. I, I'm very well available. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me on my email. Uh, you see the LinkedIn uh, address. I'm available. I I do this. Uh, I, I really help people as as part of my corporate social responsibility, as an or I would say individual uh, social responsibility. Uh, so if you write me, definitely I'm, I'm going to get back to you. If you have any questions after the webinar, anytime you want to connect with me, please feel free to do that. If you're thinking to join any of the HR Connections program, uh, any of the Connections programs, sales and marketing, leadership, HR Connections, or engineering Connections, uh, I, I believe that this is a great decision you will make. I know so many people who 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 decided not to join these programs, at least I know some, and then after a couple of months, let's say six or seven months, they they had to go back and join it because because uh, because they realized the importance from of attending these programs. I did HR Connection program that changed my job search strategy, that changed my my the, the way I approached the labor market so I definitely recommend I believe in these programs I believe in excess employment and that's the reason I come back to access to give back to community thank you very much ladies and gentlemen so everybody thank you so much just for attending and see Shen that was amazing you are so motivating and there's so many tools that you're leaving us with today so thank you again everyone and I just hope you have a great day and a great evening thanks see Shen as well